It's good though. It's nice to be here. I've been partying a lot, drinking. And who's drinking tonight? Everyone drinking, having a good time? Good stuff. Been drinking a lot, been blacking out. Blacking out sucks as a guy, uh, cause no one cares. When you black out as a guy, everyone's like, go home. When you black out as a lady, it's different, right? It's supportive. All your lady friends climb on each other's shoulders and form a giant robot lady to help fend off all the incoming threats, right? When I black out, it's like, Nigel's blacking out. Don't worry, he'll handle that internally. It's fine. Just shove cheeseburgers in my pockets and walk into the ocean. Alcohol makes you think that. I feel like it's a different voice in your head, right? You guys ever seen that show, Pinky and the Brain? Yeah, I feel like every day I'm Pinky and alcohol is the brain. Because every day I'm like, what are we gonna do tonight? And alcohol's like, the same thing we do every night. Get shit wasted and try and get your parents back together, right? But anyways. Yeah, you guys come from divorce, yeah? Yeah, don't worry, it's all your fault. But anyways, I, uh... Good. I gotta quit drinking. I got, uh, I got a heart problem now. Point that it helps. I got a heart problem. Right? Went to the doctor, checked in. Always asked the same questions in the hospital, right? Do you drink? Do you smoke? Do you do drugs? Yeah, I'm a fun guy. <laughs> do you want to hang out? They're like, how much do you smoke? I was like, about a pack a day. They're like, how much do you drink? I was like, about a pack a day, right? I feel like you're a real alcoholic when they ask you how much you drink in a week and you do multiplication instead of addition, right? <laughs> That's when it's a problem. Like a normal person, how much do you drink in a week? Well, two Friday, two Saturday, four, call it a weekend, right? For me, I'm like, what's 12 times seven? Is that a... <laughs> Is that a push door or a pull door? It's a curtain, you're in a hospital. <laughs> Getting a bit of a beer gut now. Skinny guys don't get fat good, right? Just looks like someone blew a grape up a bendy straw. <laughs> it's not good. I already don't really have a man body, right? I don't have like, I look like someone stapled a windshield wiper onto a baby carrot. <laughs> I don't get called sir, right? I've never been called sir, I get called buddy, right? I gotta... I got a buddy body. You want to make a deposit there, little fella? I caught a glimpse of myself naked in the mirror the other day. I just looked like a greyhound stood up. <laughs> Doesn't help that I got six nipples, but that's beside the point. I... <laughs> you got to eat better, you know? You got to eat better to get be a big boy, you know, you gotta eat better. Been trying to eat better. Went to McDonald's twice the other day. New diet, McDonald's, twice, right? Second time I showed up, the cashier was like, hey, weren't you just here earlier? I was like, hey, isn't it like your only job not to say that to me? Like, what do they pay you for? <laughs> so rub shame in my face. I might go vegan, because uh, I can't afford meat. And uh, if you're vegan, that's fine. Suck on celery and watch Free Willy all the time. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they get up to. It's just a well-educated guess, but uh, my only problem with vegans, when you go into a vegan restaurant, they got real food on the menu, but they put quotes around it. It's suspicious, right? Like, come on in, enjoy a Philly cheese steak, right? Like, imagine if I invite you over, like, what's for dinner? I was like, chicken. You'd be like, yeah, but what'd you just do with your hands right there? You're up to something. Am I chicken? Vegans say, if animals could talk, we wouldn't kill them anymore. I don't think they need to talk. I think they just need eyebrows. <laughs> Imagine you went to cut the head off a chicken and the chicken was just like. <laughs> Get out of here, you little cock. <laughs> so you learn about something, you judge them based on their face, right? Like here's all that separates you from a crazy person is the whites above your eyeballs. That's all separating you from a lunatic, right? Is this and this, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's a very subtle difference. It's there between like, hey man, you wanna go to the park? And like, hey man, you wanna go to the park? Like, <laughs> two different people, two very different park uses. <laughs> it's good though. Seeing a new lady now, I'm seeing a new lady, not like a new lady, she's not like a baby or anything. I'm seeing, <laughs> I wasn't just in the delivery room, like, perfect! Put it in a bag, we'll take it to go. 
So, seeing a new girl, hard to date when you're poor, right? I usually live in basement apartments, not usually. I'm not like, you know, actively looking for, I'm not on like on Craigslist like, is it damp? But uh, <laughs> I found myself in some basements. It's hard, you know? You can't invite a lady over to a basement apartment and have to lure them. That's what basements are for. They're for, <laughs> they're for luring. It even looks like a trap when they get there, right? They show up and they're like, nice house. You just go in the front door and you're like, you know, you come around back, come around back. <laughs> Don't yell. Do not yell.